What up, my niggas? Alright, so uh, a lot of people have been requesting that I do a uh, another tutorial for stuff that I didn't explain in my other tutorial. So, you know what? I've been hearing it so many freaking times from so many different people. So, I figured, you know what? Why not? Let's do another tutorial. So, right now, I'm going to explain some stuff that a lot of people are asking me about. And it should cover pretty much everything you need to know about beating this game and getting par, getting offline objectives online, or you know what I mean, online objectives offline, blah 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 blah. So, uh, there should be no more questions of how do I do this, how do I do that after this. It's not that I don't enjoy the comments and the questions, I really do, and I appreciate all the love. But when I get asked the same thing over and over again, you can imagine it's, uh, it gets a bit frustrating. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take care of this, I'm gonna do this all at once. I should answer everybody's questions all at once. So, uh, number one, this isn't the most asked question, but it's, uh, one that I get asked a lot, is where the hell are all, uh, the locations for Ivankov's papers? So I'm about to show you all three locations that they could possibly be in. In, uh, this is Belarus 2, Balea Veza. So, yeah, okay, first I'm gonna just go over here and kill Polakowski real quick, just cuz. But, um, this is the area we would go to if we were gonna get his papers. Now, this is pretty much the, the first area you should always check, is over here. So, through this vent, um, you guys saw how I got in here, so I shouldn't have to explain that, but in my Let's Play, um, this is the first place I looked for his papers, and they just happened to be in this room. So I got really lucky, and I got a pretty sweet part time because of it. Uh, okay, so they're in this room again. As soon as you see two guys come up on your radar, which I just did, um, and you notice that they're, uh, this is the area for the papers. So that's, uh, important information. So this guy right here, he's got a bank of papers, as it says right there on the, on the ground. I bank of papers. So I'm going to take his papers, fine. So that's location number one. Now I'm going to edit this out, and uh, I'm going to head to location number two. Okay, so as you can see, we're in the room where we got to save stone. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so that vent there leads to location one. I've already got the papers. But this vent up here leads to location two. Uh, I might as well go up there and show you, even though it's tedious. And for some of you who already know about this location, uh, just skip ahead, because you don't need to see this part. But for those of you who don't know about this location, you should might as well stay and watch. So, yeah, you head on up here, and there's another attic in this area. Oh man, these freaking vents. I'll tell you what. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, yeah, we're good. So, come around this area, and we're into another attic. Sweet. Good times. Uh, there's no one up here. As you can clearly see. No one's up here. There's not really anything up here. You can't really explore much up here. I guess, I think there's, uh... Uh, what is this? This is like an area that goes down to the piano room, I think. Yeah, it, yeah, that, that goes down to the piano room. Um, so... Yeah, that's about it. If there was a guy up here, then you would know instantly, okay, that's the guy with the papers. So, um, because when there, when the guy up here has the papers, he is the only spawn up here. And if there is no guy with papers, because I already got the papers, then there just aren't any spawns in this attic, and this is just an empty room with nothing. So, anyways. Uh, like I said, there is a way to get to the piano room from this spot right here in the in the floor but I'm gonna show you the way to get to the piano room from stones area it's the exact same sort of thing the piano room is obviously the third location for the papers and it's the most tedious and will take the most amount of time so when it happens to be in that room which most people check last then odds are your part times either gonna suck or you're, you, you know, if you were really slow in the rest of the mission you might even miss par altogether so it kinda sucks when it's in the piano room you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna edit this out, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we're back in the area where Stone was. Uh, okay, so to get to the piano room, like I said, this is attic one, attic number two, 
those are the first two locations, and then the piano room is through this door. So follow me through this door, okay? And this is why it's so bloody tedious. I freaking love that the guys are still glitching out and have their guns to their sides. That is so cool. So anyways, go through here. Headshot everybody, and yeah, good time. So obviously, if your game isn't glitchy like mine, you're gonna have a problem with all those dudes, so just be careful. Um, the ceiling exit for the uh, attic number two is right there. So this is where you would land on these uh, bleachers if you were coming from the attic number two. So, and that's actually a shortcut. So usually people will check attic one, and then they'll check attic two. And if it's still not in attic two, then they'll just take the shortcut from attic two straight down here to the piano. But if you're going to the piano room first, which I don't recommend because it's rarely in the piano room, but when it is... Um, this is the route to take where I just showed you. So. Okay. So we're gonna climb up all this crap. This is ridiculous. See, this is why it takes frickin' forever. And there's the piano. Boom. Cool. Now, it's not exactly in the piano room, but it's close. So there's one guy here. This is the room they would be in. There would be another guy standing right here in front of this painting. He'd be shooting at you. And he would be the one with the with the papers. If there was two guys in this room, obviously. But there's only one. Because they already got the papers, so there's no... The guy with the papers doesn't appear. So, yeah. That's about it. Now I'm going to show you how to blow up the bridge offline in this mission to get the online objective. And guess what? It's damn near impossible, so I'm probably not going to get it. I'm telling you straight up, I'm just going to show you what to do, and you can torture yourselves and try to get it done, because it's just freaking retarded. I'm not even going to try very hard to get it. I'm telling you all that right now. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright, and we're back here. We're getting the rubbins out. Uh, basically, the only thing you really need to bring here are the um, the Desert Snipers and the M61 frag grenades. Okay? Uh, you need to you need the grenades to kill yourself really fast. Uh, and, of course, de well, I mean, you don't fucking need Desert Snipers for those of us the guns that we'll bring. So, back weapons. You don't really need any back weapon for this, because we're just doing the bridge. So, I don't know. I mean, you can bring a back weapon if you want. Um, if this takes me more than one try to get off, I might come back and get a back weapon. But whatever. Let's just fucking do this. Let's get the shit over with. So, first things first, we're going to start the level. Do a thing here. Alright, cool. Kill this bitch here. And then, uh... This part here is actually super freaking important for this, okay? You need to get the checkpoint here. You have to blow up the substation to get yourself a checkpoint. Come on now, bitch. Die, there we go. Uh, so take a C4, go over to the substation, blow it up. After we kill this sniper guy, because he's a pain in the ass sometimes. And, uh... Yeah. Blow this thing up, and what you're gonna do here is pretty much, uh, yeah, just wait it out for a second. You need the checkpoint, so just hold up. See, if you don't get the checkpoint here, then you'll be in huge trouble, because you need to respawn back here once you kill yourself. This is the respawn point. So you gotta, you can't just run past the substation as soon as the objective is complete because the checkpoint won't show up on your screen so you gotta stay there until you see the checkpoint sign and then you can keep going so go on down this way and we're going to head to the helicopter crash site which you guys should know where that is so yeah I'm gonna edit this out okay we're at the crash site uh, when you get here ignore the box on the right okay there's a box right here ignore it do not touch it otherwise you get a checkpoint so you're going to want to go to this box and basically just pick up your grenades, that's all you need, and head on over to the bridge. So I'm going to edit this part out too. Basically just go straight until you see a timer. You can't miss it. 
Okay, so I failed it once, so I wanted to come back here and try it again. Um, just, I wanted to just get it as precise as possible, so jump glitch right here. Okay, wow, first freaking try, that's awesome. And I still don't think I'm going to make this. I probably won't make this. I've got like no time here. But as you can see, here's, here's the bitch of it all. So you jump glitch up to that spot there. You shimmy on over here. And I know it says you have two minutes to blow the bridge up. But guess what? Um, yeah, I should have killed myself with grenades there, but I just forgot that I had grenades. So it's a little bit, it's like a second quicker if you kill yourself with a grenade, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so respawn over here. Immediately, as soon as you respawn, you respawn, blah, 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 blah. as soon as you respawn, you got to take a right, head on over to the C4, and you're good to go. Okay, you got the C4. Now, freaking book it back as fast as you can, because you have up to the 30 second marker to get up onto that ledge again after doing the jump glitch and blowing the bridge that's how long you have so you don't have two minutes you have a minute and a half to get this shit done so you know what I mean because when you set the second C4 and I already can tell I'm not gonna make it because it's 35 seconds 34 seconds I still need to get up onto the ledge shimmy on over to the thing and plant the second C4 before the 30 second mark so now that it's already past 30 seconds it's impossible we can't we're not gonna make it but I'm gonna show you at least what to do anyways because I'm a good guy and everybody's asking me and at least this way you don't need to ask me no more so jump glitch oh, fucking bitch come on let's go Jesus Christ I hate this shit it's so hard to get this oh there's a sweet spot you gotta there we go ah, there we go okay so I mean like fuck like look at this, this is ridiculous so I fail the objective okay fine but yeah basically you go over here you blow up the freaking bridge and that's that we gotta get all this done before the 30 second mark because it takes 30 seconds to blow the bridge now watch this so you see a timer go down so like, oh, for fuck's sake so see, like, that doesn't help there you go it takes 30 seconds for the bridge to just blow up so what does that tell you the, t the tank is already f crossing the bridge, and if you blow up the bridge uh, when there's like a f during like the 15 second mark or something, and the tank is like halfway across the bridge, it doesn't matter. You still fail the objective because the tank will just be floating in midair, driving across the bridge, even though you just blew the bridge. Up. You need to do it before the tank starts moving, and it starts moving at the 30 second mark. So it is a bitch. I'm just telling you straight up. So that's that. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're back at the bridge area. As you can see, the bridge is blown up, and that's it. Okay. All right. So you know we're in the Lorelei Salvage Rig. Um, there is a trick here in this mission that a lot of people don't know about, but I've had a couple requests on how to do this. And, uh, for those of you who aren't aware of this cool little trick, then you're in for a little bit a, a little bit of surprise with this. It'll make this mission a hell of a lot easier to do. Uh, it's a glitch where you take out Mujari and you get his flak jacket of 10,000 points instead of the 375 or the 250 that you normally have. So, hey, that's fucking sweet. It's pretty much infinite health. So, let's do this. I have control of the tower. Okay, so it's pretty much right off the bat. So there is an area right over here where you can jump glitch. And if you're good, because and it's a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes, you gotta find the sweet spot. So I'm gonna add this till I get the jump glitch out. Okay, cool, I just got it. Alright, so you can't just roll under these things. Uh, which kind of sucks, but yeah, we're here. Um, oh, I should have mentioned this before. Uh, there's Mujari, <laughs> but you need the stun jack for this. So, um, or anything non-lethal. You just, you need it. I prefer the stun jack because there's absolutely no way that he'll die if you hit him with the stun jack, whereas you could kill him with a taser, you could kill him with an air pistol, you could potentially kill him with a riot shotgun. So, 
either Dormagen gas or the stun jack. And Dormagen, you could possibly knock yourself out, so I always go with the stun jack just to be safe. So climb up those stairs and be careful climbing up because the railings don't stop you from falling off. So, um, because this isn't actually supposed to be part of the level. But yeah, uh, there's Mujari. He's hanging out by the computer. Check it out. Knock him out with your stun jack. And then, guess what? We have a 10,000 point frickin' flak jacket. How cool is that? So now you can go around the level and pretty much get shot up all you want. You are not gonna die. Ah, crap. Oh, well. Unless you fall to your death like that, which I almost did, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, if you fall, that's your own problem and you are, you suck for falling. But, um, uh, yeah, you can roll under them if you're on that side, but you can't roll under these stupid things if you're on the other side. Yeah, look at that. That's crap. That sucks. Uh, yeah, you have to get the jump glitch, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, so that's how to get the 10,000 point flak jacket in this mission. And it's only for this mission, I'm sorry to say, but a lot of people seem to have trouble with this mission and not with, uh, with dying and stuff, so this will help you from dying in this mission. So, cool. Uh, now on to Tokyo. Okay, cool. We're in Tokyo, as you guys just saw. I just killed Rusaki. Um, because I have a freaking MGL and it's broken as hell. Unfortunately, if you, um, don't have online... Well, obviously, we, none of us have online play now. So, uh, and to get the MGL, you need the, uh, military tactics expert patch on, uh, your special ratings. And you need to complete the Belarus 2... Uh, destroy the bridge to stop the tank objective and the Ukraine stop the missile from launching objective and those are the two hardest online objectives to get offline so uh, yeah good luck getting the MGL without online play but uh, it's pretty freaking busted against Rusaki so I, I'm here anyways not to explain that I'm here to show you guys how to get the um, what's it called the papers or the, the surveillance tape sorry so there's three possible locations for the surveillance tape. Not everybody knows all the locations, but I'm about to show you. Um, so first step is to go to level two. Um, yeah, take the elevator up to level two. So there's three, three floors that could possibly be on, and that's level two, level four, and level eight. Uh, where is the bitch at? Come on. Whoa, almost died there. Okay, so, oh, that's cool. I don't even think they're here. Nope. Uh, looks like the papers are not in that area, So, or not the papers, the surveillance tape. I keep thinking papers because we just did Belarus too. But, uh, yeah, they would be in this little cabinet here, but they're not. So, cool. We get to show you the other locations now. So let's get back to the elevator and head up to level four. Okay. So skip three because there's only one guy there and he's irrelevant. Okay, come on now. Alright, so this is level four. Obviously you guys would know that if you watched my Let's Play or played this game previously, which most of you I'm sure have, obviously. Um, so this is the second location that the surveillance tape could be. And it's here. Okay, cool. So right in this area, right here in this office. Got it? Cool. Now let's head to floor 8, and I'm probably going to die. So uh, if I do, just bear with me. I'll just edit it out. It's all good. That's the magic of computers and technology. Um, let's switch to night fishing goggles so we don't get spotted in this area. I know I'm doing all this... And I don't need to be showing you this, because you, you guys already know what to do here. So I'm just going to skip this part. Okay, so we unlocked the other elevators. That's cool. Uh, did all that. Didn't get spotted. That's important. Don't get spotted. Um, so head up to level 8 now. Floor 8. And once we get there, we're going to be ambushed by some dudes. So get your guns ready. Freaking damn thing. Goddamn slow and silly. Alright, uh, so yeah, there's some guys right around this corner. Let's take them out with headshots. Ah, this guy's got a freaking awesome gun. 
Crap. But mine's better. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we gotta open these doors, obviously. Murakawa's gonna kill himself. Cool. So, this is the final location. Um, this floor is otherwise fairly useless besides opening the hatch to get to the LZ. There's not really anything going on on this floor. So, that's why the tapes could potentially be here, but, uh, yeah. Most of the time they're on floor 4, just to give you a heads up. Like, 90% of the time they're gonna be on floor 4. So, cool. Let's head on down to Ukraine. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys some cool shit in this mission. Uh, two things, really. Um, a lot of people want to know how to do this without dying, because you do need zero deaths in all missions to get uh, your special health patch and to really complete everything that you possibly can offline. So, not dying in Ukraine is really the only issue that people seem to really have uh, with getting that patch. I mean, Myanmar and Tokyo are hard to stay alive in, but if you bring Dormage and Gas with you, you can keep knocking yourself out every time you get low on health, and then... You know, just be smart about it. Whereas Ukraine, it's pretty much unavoidable to die because everybody has crazy weapons and they're all crazy good at aiming, and it's it's stupid. So, bring these guns. Uh, well, at least if you don't have the Desert Express 50, bring uh, bring the Desert Eliminators. I recommend those, or the Jericho 41s. Those are pretty sweet too. I have the Desert Express 50s, so I'm gonna take those. Even though the ammo for those is shit. A C8 rifle is mandatory. Who cares about the auxiliary? I just brought the SSP-90 just cause. Uh, bring Saren and bring a Viber Blade, I guess. I don't really know. But these two are interchangeable. You can do whatever you want with those. I like Saren because it's an easy kill for the for the bosses. So, okay. I'm going to show you how to not die, and I'm going to just show you basically how to get the missile stop from launching. Okay? Alright. Cool. Alright, first things first. Ah, crap. Didn't mean for to have that... Didn't mean to have that guy freaking spot me already. <sighs> I was just gonna run up to him and shank him. That was kind of a bad idea. So don't follow my lead on that. Uh, but whatever. We're not here to stay alive. Oh, actually, kind of we are, but yeah. <laughs> so don't do what I just did if you're trying to go for zero deaths. Because I'm an idiot. But basically, stay uh, very smart and cautious and all this. And, you know, be smart. And target lock grenades. Okay, we're good. Pachenko's gone. Cool. And I pretty much C8 the rest of everybody because it's the best weapon you got. So. Get out of my way, bitches. So we don't need to... Oh, God, there's somewhere right here. All the crap. All right. Uh, yeah, this mission is a bitch. So even getting to this point where we have to basically stall for the whole mission to stay alive is, is a freaking pain in the ass. And I almost died there. Holy crap. So you got to be really careful of that spot. But now we're pretty much clear sailing from this point on. Just shoot, and just don't even... Ignore all the guys you possibly can, uh, cause otherwise you're just gonna get lit up and dead and... yeah. But come down this elevator here. Okay. And... You can pretty much... Just chill in this area. Okay? So there's a checkpoint, right on. Doesn't matter. Um, if I wasn't stupid and died at the very beginning of the mission, I would have zero deaths right now. So, uh... Yeah, it's pretty easy to stay alive to get to this point. But once we're in this room here, there are absolutely no spawns that come out. And what we can do is, I know it's cheating pretty much, but it's really the only way to get zero deaths offline. Uh, unless you have cheats or something, but, you know, I, I don't. So, if you're doing this totally legit, um, we haven't killed uh, Leonov yet, the last lieutenant, the last boss guy. So, uh... There is no timer here, and these doors won't open yet. But eventually, uh, Leonov will just escape. We'll fail that objective. And then a timer will start counting down if we come near this door. 
and uh, Gabe will, you know, go do his thing and try to disable the missile, but you won't be anywhere near him because you're going to be safe and sound, tucked up right around here, doing your thing. I recommend, uh, you know, just sitting here, letting the game do its thing, coming back in like 20 minutes, sit in this little corner, this little dark corner, okay? Just pretend that, you know, no one can see you and just hang out and just have your gun ready, okay? And just, you know, all that just cuz. And, uh, yeah, just chill out here, maybe do some backflips and shit and practice your jump glitch or whatever you want to do. Um, oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, so practice your jump glitch, do whatever the hell you want, but stay in this room. Eventually the mission will just end itself, okay? The mission will just end and you will have accomplished zero deaths in Ukraine, even if you'll have completely and utterly failed the mission. You, you still technically completed the mission and you will still get zero deaths. So that is pretty cool. So that is how you get zero deaths in Ukraine. Now I'm going to show you the part that everybody's been freaking asking me about. And I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so we reached this point with all the flamethrower guys. And that's kind of cool. Uh, this is pretty much where we need to be right now. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, the Saren's doing his job. That's cool. Right on. Yeah, but we need to be over here. This is basically where we, uh, where we take care of the missile. Sort of. In a way. Because we're not going to, obviously. It's a freaking hard objective and I'm not killing myself with it. Holy goodness! Oh. Check out those freaking mad skills though, man. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. I just rolled faster than fire could hit me. Man. If that's not superhuman, then this must be a video game or something. But, uh, yeah, we're going over here. Basically the end of the mission, kind of. Yeah, exactly the end of the mission. Um, okay, so first I'm going to quickly explain something. This door is going to open any second now. Fucking open. Or not, never mind. That's a glitch. I don't know why it didn't open, because it should have. But So we have no choice, and we can't get the... Oh crap, what is this crap? Ah, oh, okay. Do not want to die here. Holy crap! Why is everybody coming out already? This makes no sense. Anyways, we need to get... Ah, uh, well anyways, there's an elevator there. We need to get on top of that elevator. <sighs> get on top of the elevator. Follow Gabe down. And you're going to want to come out and roll from the elevator over to this spot right here. There is a control panel over there on that little platform where you're able to press a button and uh, you've got about 10 seconds before having to press the other button on the other side of the, of the area which is right over here where you need to do the jump glitch to get up so that's why you gotta get in this area quickly do the jump glitch <laughs> it's so hard to explain what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Get in this area. Jump glitch up. For fuck's sake. There. That's the spot you need to go. That spot right there. Jump glitch up there. You see how freaking hard that is? Not happening. Not ha Especially now. So, you jump glitch up there. And then, you have to get back down. Come across this area here. Get to where Gabe is. Get on top of that elevator right there in that area, right before Gabe gets on it, because he's gonna just take it up, he's not gonna wait for you. And he's gonna take it up to here, so you're gonna need to roll over to this spot here, and hit that control panel. So, to be honest, it's not nearly as hard as Belarus 2, but it's still hella difficult. So, and you've only got a 10 second time frame, so, you know, good luck. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's how you get the freaking missile objective on Ukraine, okay? I hope I explained that thoroughly enough. So, you know, to recap, go up here first, jump glitch, come down, take the elevator up to there, 
Roll off that spot, go onto that control panel over there, hit that control panel. Boom. Objective complete. Alright. Now let's head on over to Belarus 1, because I'm going to show everybody quickly where all the workers are, and then we are good to go. Okay, so we're back in uh, Krivorostal Mill, or Belarus 1, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you where all the workers are here. Because uh, not everybody knows where they are. And I know people want to know all the locations, because yes, there are seven workers. And no, you cannot complete the save all workers objective on or uh, offline. But it's, uh, you know, just in case one dies and you want to know where to find another one, this is one way to do it. So here's the first room worker, or the machine worker, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he's more commonly known as the machine worker. Uh, so yeah. Here's worker number one. Now let's go see worker number two. If they die, who cares? We're not here for that. Okay, so we just took out some snipers, and here is worker number two. Or whatever, they're, they're not numbered at all, but yeah, this is the stacks worker. So, uh, one trick when taking down the workers, if you're uh, not worried about yourself dying, is keep your flashlight on, because it takes the uh, aim off the workers and more on you. So, uh, yeah, I like to do this, because personally it's such a bitch to see those words, worker killed on the screen every frickin' five seconds. So, yeah, that's, that's the... Ah, oh, these guys suck. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet gun, this one right here. The M82 BFG. But yeah, this, uh, these two workers you can take down at the same time. It's pretty cool. This is the garage door worker. You can take him down through opening this door here, but it's much easier to... Uh, take these two down at once, which I didn't manage to do in my Let's Play because we had really shitty guns. But maybe we'll be able to this time. Who knows? Let's, we'll find out, I guess. Um, come here, bitch. Where are you at? Oh, God. Ah! There's someone behind us. We gotta get rid of this guy. Come on now. Well, that was close. Holy. Okay, I think that's all of them. So, uh, a trick here is you can slow down this guy and wait for the other guy to come. But, well, you don't really have to. Just sort of as long as you stay in the middle of both of them. Eventually, if you, uh, if you stop running towards one, one will just, like that guy there, he just, the, uh, the stacks worker, he stopped running, he's gonna wait for us now. So, we can just let the garage door worker catch up to him if you feel more comfortable with both of them being next to each other. Uh, I think they're close enough, so I'm just gonna start running again. So yeah, that's one cool little trick, you can take them both down at once, and then that's the save some workers objective complete. So, now I'm gonna ignore them. And we're going to head on over to the tunnel worker. So pretty much just go straight. Follow these tracks. Okay, so yeah, you want to take those guys out as quickly as you possibly can. But here's the tunnel worker. So, you know, fair enough. Okay, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now let's head on down to Dubransky. Uh, Dubransky is... Just pretty much straight down this tunnel, and then you take a right up the stairs, and can't really miss it. Let's turn on our night vision instead. So I am gonna guide you through this little part here, because this part, or this whole section of the uh, tutorial, really isn't for people who uh, kind of know what they're doing. This is for the people who are really stuck and don't know where any of the workers are, and because I have had that question asked quite a, quite a bit. So head on up to Dabransky. Be careful here, because there are dudes. And... This guy here. Cool. So Dabransky's good. Let's get a checkpoint, just because it's probably better if we do. So open the damn thing, you little bitch. Take his documents. Now we got a checkpoint, so if we die, we'll just be right back here. Don't worry about Dabransky, fuck him. The only reason you'd ever take him down is if we're playing online. 
Okay, and the last two workers, there is the coil room worker straight ahead. As you can see, these coils all over the place. There, 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 there. Uh, there's a worker over here. You guys didn't see this guy in my Let's Play. The other four you did, or the other five, I guess including Dabransky. So, coil room worker. And finally, the statue worker. He's the last one. So, and he's a bit of a pain to save, because he's got two guys on him right off the bat. So, there we go. Boom. So, uh, we call him the statue worker. He's sitting right over there. But that's because of this big statue in this area. So, that is worker number seven. That is all of them. Nice. Now everybody knows where all the workers are. We're all good, right? Everybody's cool. Sweet. So, that's it for the tutorial. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Who cares? Worker got killed. I don't give a shit. Uh, die, bitch. So, yeah. I'm uh, happy to be done this shit. That's for sure. Hopefully nobody nobody uh, got lost in any of this. Um, I actually really enjoy doing these tutorials, but now it's pretty much over. Um, you guys know how to pretty much do everything. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for all the support, guys. Hopefully this helped out. Um, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my band's channel, Malevolence. Uh, we definitely need some more support. So and yeah. I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. I am going to be giving Max Payne 1 a break for now, because I'm kind of, I don't know, not really into that game at the moment. So I'm going to jump right into Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow. That's going to be my next Let's Play. So I will see you guys in there.